work through um as we work through the circle and dealing with pi we're going to need to know a couple of words now i know some of you know these words and so this is just like very obvious revision but for those of you who don't i think it's important that we go over it okay so firstly if we're talking about the circumference of a circle okay the circumference of a circle is this whole outside section oh gosh my line got very very messy as i started going around that circle so this whole outside of the circle is the circumference of the circle okay so that is my circumference and when we are dealing with like measurement what would that circumference be of the circle of the words that we've been talking about in this course what would the circumference of the circle be if someone can tell me as a hint it starts with a p See if that helps at all. Iman, what is the circumference of a circle? You just need to unmute on your side. There we go. Ma'am, I don't know if it is or that, but I'm going to give it a go. I, love um, it. I think P is equal to 2 pi or. Okay, yeah, you're absolutely right. Okay, so. When we're talking about the circumference of a circle, the circumference is definitely 2 pi r. Absolutely. Okay. Some people also learn it as c is equal to pi d. So it just depends on how you've learned it at school. But when you said p to start, that was exactly what I was talking about. Exactly. Mateo is saying it lovely for us in the chat. When we're talking about the circumference of a circle, what we are actually looking at is we're looking at the perimeter of that circle. Okay, because the perimeter is the outside of a shape. And so the perimeter of a circle is its circumference. If we are looking for the circumference of a full circle, we would be looking for the perimeter of that circle. Okay, when we are talking about the word diameter, now a diameter is when I go from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle and I go through the center of the circle. So that is what my diameter is. My diameter goes straight across my circle. Okay, so that's my diameter. And when we're dealing with equations, the diameter is this guy over here. So when we're using equations, it's the small d. Okay, and when we're talking about circumference, it's a c, like that. And then our last one is a radius. And a radius is when I go from the center of my circle to the outside. Okay, so like anywhere from the center to the outside, that would be a radius. And when we're talking about a radius, it is R. Okay, so that's just like some of the words of what we're dealing with a circle. So that's our little R, that's our D. So how many radii make up one diameter? How many radii? So radii is just the plural for radius. How many radii, spelled like that, that's its plural. How many radii make up one diameter? Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Okay. So two radii equal one diameter. Because this is a radius here and this is a radius here. So two radii equal one diameter. Okay. Cool. So this is just understanding some of the words that we're going to be using when we deal with with circles. If you want to take a screenshot of this, please feel free. We're going to move past it from here and we're going to start bringing in some pi. Okay, so now, lady, all this is looking at at the moment is just some of our vocabulary. So, just some words that we need to know. Nothing fancy here just yet. I promise I'll talk about the formulas later. The most important thing that I want you to understand from this page is I want you to understand what a circumference is. So that's that pink part that I've highlighted on the outside. So understanding that the circumference is the outside, understanding that the diameter is when we go from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle and we go through the center. And a radius is when we go from the center to the outside of the circle. So if you understand those three words, then I'm gonna be happy.
Okay. All right. So when this idea of pi came up, what they found was no matter what circle you draw, you can, you can take any circle you like. If you measured the circumference of that circle and you divided it by its diameter, so that's what's happening over here. If you took the circumference of any circle, literally any circle in the world, okay? So this is a tissue box. If I measured the circumference of the tissue box and I measured its diameter and I said it's circumference divided by diameter, or if I, yeah, we have a coaster, okay? If I measured the circumference of this coaster and I divided it by its diameter, so any circle, if you measure its circumference and you divide it by its diameter, you always get the same number. And that number is a very important number. It's called an irrational number. Can someone tell me what it means for a number to be irrational? As a hint, think about like if your parents are being irrational, what does it mean? Like what are they, what, what, what would they do when they're talking to you? They're going to think about it like that. What does it mean for a number to be irrational? Who thinks they can tell me? Try and think. You can give me suggestions. Doesn't matter if you're wrong. <laughs> Numbers that don't make sense. Okay. I actually don't I, don't. I don't hate that. It's not real. So funnily, an irrational number is actually real. Good. It's a decimal form. Okay. I like that. It cannot be expressed as a ratio. I like that. No fractions. Decimal. Good. Think about there's one word that I'm looking for. Definitely not a whole number. Yeah, Kieran, do you think you can help me out? What do you think would classify something as an irrational number? Uh, ma'am, wouldn't wouldn't a, a irrational number be non non recurring? Good, absolutely. It's a non recurring. So that's great. It's a non recurring decimal. Hundred percent. Kira, do you think you can add to this? Um, yes, ma'am. Um, I'm good. Good, good evening, ma'am. Um, <laughs> Non-irrational numbers cannot be um cannot be expressed like in wait it cannot be expressed as the ratio of two integers. Yes. Okay. No. Those are these, everything you guys are saying so far is right. It definitely it can't be made as a fraction. Okay. But the word that I was looking for, Kejo has just said it in the chat for us. It is non-terminating. Okay. That was the word I was looking for, which is like a really fancy way of saying something, which I'm going to write for you now. Non-terminating. All non-terminating means is it goes on and on and on and on and it's going to go on and on and on and on and on and on forever it's a number that's never ever 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 going to end it's going to just keep on going forever so if we put if we put pi into our calculator so if you write shift and then you push your pi key down at the bottom and you push equals okay you'll see you get a little pi and if we make it a decimal you're going to get this one three comma one four one five nine two six five, four, and those are all the numbers we can see. But there are lots, 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 lots more numbers that exist. Tons more, infinite number, because that number never, ever, ever ends. So des those decimals are going to carry on going for all infinity. They're just going to keep on going. So when we say something is an irrational number, we mean it's a number that, that can't ever end. Now, some of your schools will want you to do different things. So this is where we're going to have to try and work best with what we can do, okay? Some of your schools are going to want you to write 3 comma 1, 4 instead of using pi. That's absolutely fine, okay? So if you are one of those schools, please feel free to do that, and that's how you can practice. And if your numbers are slightly different to mine, that will be why. Some of your schools will want to use pi in the calculator, okay? They'll want you to actually use the button pi. That's what we're going to be using in these lessons. And some of your schools may even ask you to write the fraction 22 over 7. Now, 22 over 7 isn't pi. Okay, It's not exactly equal to pi, but it's as close of a fraction as we can get. So it's the closest fraction to pi, and that's why some will want you to use that. So those are generally the three options that the different schools will use. And you must use the one that your school uses when we work through these. 
Okay, and then if your decimals are a little bit different to mine, that's probably why what's happening. All right. There's actually a crazy situation. So there's some people, I'm going to see if I can if I can Google this. There's some people who spend like their whole lives just reciting the different numbers of pi. So there's a, actually, you know what I'm going to ask you, Linda, do you mind Googling and seeing who the, the world record holder is of the person who said the most digits of pi for us? Okay. On Thank it. you. But I'm going to keep talking and you, Linda's going to work for us in the background. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay so when we're working through this basically whenever we have a situation the circumference divided by the diameter is always going to give us pi and that's why when we're wanting to find the circumference of a circle we can say the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter or like we've just said two radii equal one diameter so we can say pi times two r or some of your schools want you to write it as two pi r all of those mean the same thing um with the question about line graphs we've already done line graphs so the videos will be online so we won't be doing it again this year okay um if you want to have a picture of this take a picture and then we're going to move down to our first example so uh we were finding who has created the, the number pi the the person who holds the record for saying the most digits of pi for, yeah, for, for memorizing. Yeah, so the person who's memorized the most number of, of digits of pi. Let's see what comes out. Okay. Ah, Kevon, nice job. How many, um, how many, how many digits did he, did he memorize? Have you got it there in front of you? 70,000, no? Is this person? 20,000 post decimal digits of pi. Miena. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Watch. So what this means was this guy stood there. And so if you think about the different the different decimals of pi, so let me just write out the first few. Okay. This person memorized all of them. So if That's I crazy. if I was able to say three, comma, one, four, one, five, nine without looking at my calculator, I would have memorized one, two, three, four, five digits. Okay. And this guy memorized. 100,000 more of those how crazy is that and he stood there and he took him hours like and he just like went through all of the different digits it's insane I don't I yeah but yes this is what some people do with their lives no judgment <laughs> but yeah. I agree Kira his brain is both different I 100% agree Okay, so let's have a look at this first example. So like, let's just, we're just doing do it nice and easy. In this one, we're looking for the circumference of the circle. Okay, remember the circumference is this whole outside area of a circle. Okay, so the circumference is equal to, we can use any one of these formulas. Really depends on which one you're comfortable with. This over here, I'm going from the center to the outside, which means that is my radius, okay. So I'm going to write the formula whenever we do this, just so that we can start learning it. So I'm going to say circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So my circumference is equal to 2 pi times 4, because my radius is 4. And then we're going to put that straight into the calculator like that. So we're going to say 2 times shift pi times 4. And I want you all to put it in your calculators to make sure you're doing this correctly and you're getting everything in the right order. You should get an answer on your calculator that looks like this. It should say 8 pi. But we want to get it as a decimal. So we're going to push the button. Remember, we learned about it last week where it says S to D. And that means third form to decimal form. And so we're going to say third to decimal. And I'm going to get 25,13. And we're dealing with centimeters. Okay. okay, let's have a look at these questions before I move on. Where did I get the two from? So I got the two from the equation. So the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. In this case, I was given my radius, not my diameter. And so that's why I'm using the formula two pi r. But you could also just multiply that four by two to get your diameter. 
Eunice, if you were saying random numbers and you happen to get them right, then I think that that's even more impressive somehow. Yes, okay, so if yours shows eight pi, then you're gonna wanna push the button on your calculator that looks like this. It's over here, it's just above delete on my calculator. And that's gonna change it from eight pi into a decimal. Otile, how can I help? Um. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. How do you like press the, the pi again on the calculator, ma'am? Okay, so you're gonna want to push shift so you're going to start with shift yes ma'am and then you want to go all the way down to the bottom it should say times 10 and then above it in yellow there's like a little pi which you should be yes, able to see click that button okay, and that's yes, how you get pi uh, thank you ma'am no problem ah yes okay we're getting good answers how do we know if it's the radii or the diameter okay so remember the radii goes from the center to the outside and the diameter, if this was a diameter, it would go all the way across. So that whole thing would be my diameter and just half of it would be my radius. Let me take the yellow away so it's not confusing. Okay. Good. Yeah, okay, so Marcus, if that's if that's how you're writing it at school, please feel free to do that in these lessons. Lots of schools ask you to write 3, 1, 4. Totally, totally fine to do it that way. Um, Ketiwe, how can I help? Um, ma'am, I'm asking, is this pie? Mm. Is, is this what one. pie? Are you showing me a picture? Um, the calculator is. Okay, hold on, let me just, let me just go to you. Uh, yes, yes. So if we push shift and then we push that button, you'll get pi. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's try our next one. All right. So now in this one, I'm going to ask you a question first. I <laughs> have as many numbers as you can. <laughs> Okay, so this, uh, yeah. 15, <laughs> this 15 millimeters, this line over here, my first question to you, is that a diameter or is that a radius? Is that a diameter or is that a radius? Bruce, Bruce, is that a diameter or radius? Ma'am, that's your diameter. That is my diameter. Excellent. Okay, well it's my diameter because it's going from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle. That's how we know it's a diameter. Okay. And so when I'm looking at my formulas, remember we've got C equals two pi R, or we could use C equals pi D. You remember you can use whichever one you want. It's the same thing, means the same thing, okay? In this case, I'm gonna use pi D because I have the diameter. So I'm gonna say, well, my circumference is gonna equal pi times 15. And I'm gonna put that into my calculator. Exactly, so see, well, your radius is just, half it's just half of your diameter so we're going to say pi times 15 and that should give you 47 comma 1 2 millimeters so just double check on your calculators make sure you're getting the right answers make sure you're happy with what you're getting generally your test will say to round off to two decimal places so that's what i'm going to round off in this class how did i get the answer so in the calculator, I wrote pi times 15, and then I pushed equals, and I got 15 pi, and then I said S to D, and then I got the decimal. Let me just do it step by step. As a CPO, how can I help? Sorry, ma'am. Uh, can I ask something mm. about the first, an first last answer and the second last answer? Sure. The the, the radius, you put it in centimeter. Yeah, so in the first question, they gave it to me here. My units were in centimeters. So my answer was in centimeters. And in this one, my my question was in millimeters. So my answer is going to be in millimeters. Thank you, ma'am. No problem. Generally, you just keep it whatever units the question is in. Sometimes they ask you to change it if they're being asked. Can I 
Let me give you guys a question to try by yourself. Do we feel okay? Um, so my people are ready. Yeah, hey, my peeps. C definitely stands for circumference. Exactly. We all are ready, my peeps. Um, why did I say two? Okay, so I didn't say two pi times fifteen because if I'm using this formula, that's saying two pi times my radius, and this isn't my radius. This is my diameter. So if I wanted to use this formula, I would have had to say two times pi times seven and a half. Then I would have been okay. In every circle, there's a circumference, sometimes not a full circumference, but sometimes. How and why to use a calculator? So the reason we use our calculator is because then we can use the proper value of pi. We don't have to use an approximation or a rounded off version. So if I wanted to put this in my calculator, I would say shift, and then I'd push the button for pi, so shift pi, that's not pi, shift pi. And then I'm gonna say times 15. So that's what it looks like at the moment. And push equals, and I get this answer of 15 pi. And then I'm going to want to push this button here. So it says S to D. And that's going to change it into a decimal form. And then I get my decimal answer. That's how I do this on my calculator. Okay. Okay. Um, I think before we do these ones, let's quickly take a brain break. And then we'll come back up to these questions. Because these ones get a little bit different. So let's quickly do, let's quickly do a brain break. So for those of you who um, are new, if this is your first lesson with us today, brain break is, is just something silly that we do halfway through the lesson, sometimes a little bit after halfway, depends on how the lesson goes. <laughs> and if you don't know what's going on, that's okay. It's, you, you don't need to stress. You don't need to worry about feeling confused. It's just something completely silly. This little guy's name is Brian, Brian the Brain, and he joins us for our brain break. Okay. Yep. So for your brain break today, Brian decided to do something that was in the same scene of what you are learning today. And so it's all to do with pi. <laughs> and they are all, all dingbats. So there are three dingbats. So for those of you who don't know what word that is, a dingbat is just something... It's like a picture and you have to figure out what the word or sentence or movie or book or whatever it is, is from this picture. And my hint to you is that all of them somewhere in the word or sentence have pi in it. Okay, that's the theme for today. So let's go to our first one. I thought we'd start with something nice and easy. First thing that. We can get this, my pibs. Oh, you all <laughs> fall right into my trap. It is not oh, an apple pie. Oh, they were like apple pie. It is, it not, is not an apple pie. <laughs> you just walked right into it. Right into my trap. Ah, it's a steeple. Yay. Yes. Pineapple, my pibs. <laughs> the steeple got it first. Nice job. It is definitely, it's a pineapple. So <laughs> it was because this was my pie and then mm, apple. So pineapple. <laughs> if it had been apple before the pie, then I would have accepted your apple pie. But it's definitely a pineapple. <laughs> okay, so that was our first one. That was supposed to be our easiest one. So let's just kind of slowly get us in. The next one is like our medium one and then the last one is the hardest one. But sometimes I'm wrong and you get the one that I think is the hardest. Oh, I just put the N in myself because it's like a pie and then an apple. So pie and apple. So it's like and. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to worry, Kiara. <laughs> it's supposed to be a brain break. Relax and open your mind. Brian yes. the brain well done. Yes. Nice job. <laughs> I spy. 
I spy with my little eye. Nice job. Gosh, you got that so quickly. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> my pebs are geniuses. Too fast for me. I like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> last one. Last one. Last one is what I think will be the hardest, but I think maybe you guys are getting these so quickly that you might be getting it really, really fast. Let's see. <laughs> you need a new brain break. While you're doing this, just in case I don't get to tell you guys, so the the boot camp uh, final payment will be on the third of November. Okay, so Sarah, that's for you. Mm, okay, I haven't seen the answer that I'm looking for here. Uh, you're very close. Some of you are very close. Ah! yes nice job well done oh some of you were super close nice job 100 percent. it is definitely pirates of the caribbean it was <laughs> so pie pie and then rats so that was my pirates of the caribbean <laughs> No mind, you little genius, man. <laughs> I'm supposed to know that. You're not. That's why it's supposed to just be something you have to try and figure out. I also <laughs> thought they could look like mice. Because they rats. They rats. So this is pirates. That was my pirate. Pirates. <laughs> the first thing you need to think of that. I don't, I don't know we have to ask Numan. we have to ask we have to ask how they got there <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> all right that was our last one for today we're going to jump back into some of our back into some of our maths mode I hope your brains feel I hope your brains feel relaxed Okay, so I want us to have a look at this. We're going to kind of talk through it like step by step. And then I want you to try some things and we're going to get different answers up and we're going to see who is right and who is wrong. Okay, so I'm not going to say a lot here. I'm going to highlight a couple of things that I think will help you. And then, um, and then I'm going to let you try this because I want some of you to get the wrong answers. And I know that that sounds mean, but it's because I want you to make these mistakes with me so that you don't make them later. Okay, so this question is asking us to determine the perimeter of the shape. So when we're looking at perimeter, we're looking at the outside area of our shape. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Now, think about what that means for the top part. And this down here, we're going from our center to our outside, which means that is my radius. Okay, so I... Yes, Sonobile, absolutely. You just take whatever time you need. You don't need to worry, okay? Um, what I want you to do is I want you to give this a try. And when you have answers, put them in the chat for me. And I'm going to start writing up your answers. And we'll see who lands up getting them right and who is a little bit off. And we'll talk about why some were right and some were a bit wrong. Okay, so we've got our first answer that's coming in. I'm just going to pop it down here. As your answers come in, just tell me and I'll put them on the board. Give it your best go. Try and think about what you're seeing. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh, sorry. I can tell you so far that I haven't seen, <laughs> thank you, I haven't seen the number that I'm looking for just yet. 
Iman, is this a question? No, ma'am, not the question I got, the answer, ma'am. Okay, do you want to tell me what you got? I'll put it, I'll put it up on the board. Ma'am, can I say like how I got to my answer? Not just yet, not just yet. At the moment, we're just trying to figure out what everyone got. Okay, ma'am, I got 10, nine. nine. Okay, so you're in this crowd over here. I like it, thank you. Let's see. Let's see if people agree. Let's see if they disagree. Oh, we're getting numbers all over the place here. <laughs> I was about to say that the whole board will have like different numbers at the end. Because they're um, all different. I can still say that none of the numbers on the board are, are um, well, let's see. Yeah, none, none of the numbers on the board are what I'm wanting to see just yet. <laughs> some of you are close, um, but then some of you took some detours, I think. Lots of people sitting in 11. Lots of people sitting in 11. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to take you guys out of your misery. Um, and we're going to talk through, we're going to talk through how to do this. Okay. Let's start with this sort of step-by-step. Step. I'm gonna do it bit by bit. I'm gonna just look at that yellow curve that I have over there. I'm actually gonna work in a different color so that I can leave your answers up on the board. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at that green curve that I have. What can you tell me about that green curve? Who can tell me something about that green curve? You don't have to give me like an exact number, but what can you tell me about that green curve? There's like something quite important about it. Yeah, it's round. It's it is it's definitely round. <laughs> it's good to see for it's half. Okay, this is half of the circumference. Okay. It's half of my circumference because it doesn't go all the way around. If it went all the way around, I would have this full circle, but it doesn't. It's half, it's a semicircle. Okay. So if I was just looking at that green part, so I'm gonna say my perimeter is equal to, I'm just looking at that green part over there. I'm gonna say two pi times three and a half, and I'm gonna divide that by two. And the reason I'm dividing it by two is because it's a semicircle, okay? Then I have to think, well, that's not my whole perimeter. That's only the top part. Then I haven't included the bottom part as my perimeter. So if I wanted to include this part over here, that's my radius, right? So I have to say, well, that's going to be plus three and a half. Okay, sorry, let me just scroll up a little bit. So that's three and a half. That's my one radius. And then if I had to look at this side over here, that's my other radius. And I have to also include it. So I can't like just not include that. So I also have to then plus a second part of my radius, which is my r. Exactly, Bruce. We have to divide it by two because it's a semicircle. And so then what we land up with is this. Now, if you're wanting to be smart, you can see that those twos are actually going to cancel. So you don't even need to put them into an equation. But if you want to put them into an equation, you can. And you can actually put that straight into your calculator exactly like that. You can push your fraction key. So I'm just pushing my fraction key. And I'm going to say 2 times pi times 3.5 over 2. So that's exactly what my fraction looks like. It looks exactly like it is on the board. And then I'm just moving to the right saying plus 3.5 plus 3.5. And, and I get a total of my perimeter is going to equal 17, 9955 blah 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 okay that five is going to make my nine go up which is going to make my other nine go up so my perimeter is going to be 18 centimeters yeah i told you it was a tricksy one it was trying to trick you so i think what a lot of people did was you worked out the full circumference and then some of you worked out half of the circumference which was great 
but then you only added three and a half. And some of you only worked out half the circumference and you forgot about you forgot about these guys. So you just gotta be just gotta be careful with what we with what we're working through. Yeah. Yeah, Tabang, how can I help? You just need to unmute from your side. Yeah, there we go. Hi. Uh, for this one, I said two pi times three comma five, right? Mm hmm. And then divide by two. I still get ten comma nine nine. But are you adding these ones over here? Oh. Okay. Wait, what? Because we have to add no, the bottom one. Why, ma'am? Okay. <laughs> we got there, we got there. Uh, Bruce, how can I help? Hello, ma'am. I just wanted to ask, ma'am, that pink line that you drew next to the blue line, is it, yeah. is it 3,5 also? Yeah, exactly. Because it's a radius, they're going to be the same as each other. So whenever we have a radius, they'll be the same. Same okay, man. so like each time they give us a circle like this, or like let's say by the 3,5 centimeters, they gave us 10. We're going to mm. have to split them and still keep it as 10, 10, but like in different. Yeah, so like let's say that that didn't say 3,5, let's say that that was 10, then this would also be yes, 10. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you. No problem. Um... Yeah, Dita Boko, how can I help? Um, ma'am, I wanted to ask the three comma five. Do you add it twice, or you just wrote that? Yeah, no, we add it twice because we have two radii. So if we're only adding it once, then we're only to either we would only be adding the blue, or we'd only be adding the pink. But if we want okay. the full perimeter, we'd need to add all of them together. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Okay, so Cecil, when they yeah, so it's exactly the same thing. Um, so if your school told you when you're working in a semicircle to say pi r instead of two pi r, it's exactly the same thing because a full circle is two pi r divided by two and then those twos cancel. So it, it means the same thing. Yeah, so we round it off to get the 18 because the five over here, that third number, that's going to make the nine go up and that nine is going to make the other nine go up. And so because they're all following on and making them greater, that's why we would land up with 18. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully this feels like a little bit clearer now that you've sort of seen how it all fits together. I'm going to give you another question to try and sink your teeth into before we have to, before we have to leave today. Sumela, don't panic. You'll be okay. I know you're a little brain buff. Um, we're dividing by two because it's a semicircle. It's not a full circle. So if it was a full circle, it would look like this. My my circle would go all the way around, but it doesn't. And that's why we have to divide it by two. So the reason we're adding it twice is because that blue, the blue one, that's just this blue section that I've highlighted. And if we don't add this three and a half over here, which is also my radius, then we wouldn't be including the whole thing. We would only be doing the blue and the green. So we need to have pink, blue, and green. Yeah, Thursday we'll be continuing with this topic. Thursday we're going to start with a little bit of area. So the 18 just came because the nines tilted up when I was rounding. But if you were panicking about that, you could also say 17 comma 996. And that was okay. How much would this count on a test? Um, it depends. Um, generally, I would say probably three marks, probably one for getting the correct um, idea for the semicircle, then understanding you adding seven and then getting your final answer. So it depends on what the test says for rounding off. If the test has specifically asked you to round off, then yes, it is a must. Um, but if they haven't, then it depends on, on what your teacher has asked you to do. No, quizzes are only on Thursdays. Okay. 
Um, okay. So for this one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make it, your life a little bit easier just because we're running out of time. So I'm just gonna do the Pythagoras for you and tell you that this length over here is 12 comma six nine. Okay. So I don't want you to panic. I want you to sort of think very similarly to what we've just done now. And this is why highlighters are really your friends sometimes. I want you to think about what each thing looks like. I want you to think about what that looks like and how I would work out that pink part. Okay. Then I want you to think, what is the value of this blue part? And what is the value of this green part? And all together, pink plus blue plus green, that's going to make up my whole perimeter. So I want you to think about each of those things and I want you to think about what that would equal as a total. Think about what those two little lines are that are drawn. Think about what that means. So just do it step by step. Work it out literally step by step. So your perimeter is going to be equal to what your pink is plus just going to move it a little bit over here plus your blue okay. yeah so just step by step one thing at a time don't overthink it think about it nice and like slowly think about what this eight centimeters is You guys are doing so well, by the way. I'm so proud of you. Super, super well. Yeah, the green is definitely equal to 12,69. Good, good. So those two little lines that I drew, those are meaning that those lines are the same as each other. So that's definitely going to be 12,69. And now the most important thing now is to try and figure out how to work out that top pink part. Renati, I see you. I will call on you in a minute. Okay. Renati, tell me what I'm going to write here. How would I work out this pink part? Hi, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. So, right in the first step, we said per in the first well, the uh, the question before we said perimeter. So now, would you say circumference? So it depends. If you're just working with circumference, you would just say circumference. But because this is it's part circumference, part something else, I would say perimeter. Okay, ma'am. So I said um, perimeter is equal to two pi times eight. divided by two yes beautiful okay what's my blue ma'am is it 12 comma 6 9 yes what's my green 12 comma 6 9 yes so what is my final total here ma'am what i did is that i first worked that out the pink part out and i got it that's different fine answer. that's totally fine okay so work out work out your um your pink part what did you get for your pink part Mama got 41, come on, three. I don't, just, just, I think maybe you've put something into your calculator wrong. So ma'am, would you just say that the two pi times eight divided by two? So say two, try and write it as a fraction like this. Because I think what's happening is, yeah, just. Mama go. got 25, come on, three. There we go, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what we're wanting. So 20, oh, goodness. 20, 20. Good idea. It's like not what did we to write your answer. 25 comma one three. I like it. Okay. And then we're gonna add our blue and our green. And so what is our final answer here? 
Okay, I'm just gonna so add okay, 25 comma one three plus 50 comma five one centimeters. I love it. Perfect. Nice job, when I see. Um okay, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try zoom through these questions, but I have to leave in a minute. So I'm gonna go as quickly as possible. Kiara, how can I help? Nancy, you know by a it um you it was two by times three point five of um over two, right? Yeah. And then you um plus three point five twice. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what that's what I did with the second one. Um Okay, so this one the reason we don't plus those eights is because those eights here and here, they're not part of our perimeter. So the only part of my perimeter is only looking at the outside of our shape. So the only things that are in my perimeter here are this pink curve, this blue line, and this green line. So those, um, that's, the, that's why those are the only three things we need to add. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. 